This is new script of Blizzard Amazing Hate Speech of Greta Thunberg. How dare you? You dare to mock the dead. I will have your head for this insult, and then some. Your death would be a great loss to humanity. And so it shall come. I am Naroth, Lord of Oblivion and you are his chosen vessel. He who has been given much will receive little in return. The end is nigh. You see that the script is complete. But there's still one more thing to do before you can play it. You need to get rid of the last line which says the end is nigh. So you type in Naroth and hit enter. Then you press the enter key again when you're done typing and then finally hit return on your keyboard. And now you're playing the final part of the game. The end is nigh. Bryce laughs. The end is nigh. Why would she say that? You shrug your shoulders. Try to make it look like you don't know anything about this. Do you even know how much this costs? It was a gift from my dad. Naroth, Lord of Oblivion. You need to find out more about him. Maybe if you find out more about him, you'll find out more about what's going on with Greta Thunberg. Bryce, can I use your computer to do a quick search? He just stares at you in silence and then finally says, fine. Then he leads you over to his desktop computer in his room and lets you use it. You start by searching for Naroth, and surprisingly enough you actually learn something. Naroth is a fictional character in the Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game. He is known as the Lord of Oblivion, and is known for destroying entire civilizations and then devouring their souls. He is a demon lord who once ruled an infernal plane called the Infernal Realm of Narendale. However, he was later defeated and trapped in the material realm by an unnamed hero. There's no information about Greta Thunberg or anything else on your computer but you decide to try searching for her on Google. You find several links talking about her, so you open up a couple of news articles. One of the first ones you find is this. Greta Thunberg finds $40,000 on the street and gives it to the police. By Mallory Kane Greta Thunberg, a 12-year-old girl from the Bronx, found $40,000 on the street yesterday and decided to turn the money into the police station. I want to see if it gets returned to the rightful owner, she told reporters. The money was inside a quick clot bag, which is a type of clotting agent used for treating heavy bleeding. Jennifer Craner, a police spokeswoman, confirmed that the money was indeed stolen. The quick clot bag was torn open and the money was in a plastic container inside of it. We are currently checking nearby security cameras to see if we can identify this random do-gooder. If you have any information about this incident, please call 1-800-555-BIGOT. That's so weird. She's found money before too. It's like she has a homing beacon for it or something. You start to read another article, but then you hear a creaking sound coming from the floor below you. It sounds like someone is opening the front door. You hear footsteps mounting the stairs, and then someone shouts Bryce. It's your mom. Shit. You left the basement door open. There's no time to hide, so you just sit there in plain sight and try to look as guilty as possible. Your mom storms into the room. What the hell are you doing in here? She says furiously. It takes every ounce of courage you have to speak without sounding like you're going to cry. I, um, I was just, spit it out. I was just using the computer. Her face turns red with anger. She grabs your arm drags you over to the computer and points to the Word document that's still on the screen. What is this? Is this what you were doing? You feel yourself start to tear up. You try your best to maintain composure, but you just can't hold it in anymore. You start crying as you nod your head. How did you even know how to do something like this? She asks, completely baffled. You have no idea what to say, so you resort to telling the truth. I, um, I learned how on the internet. The internet. What were you even doing on there in the first place? She asks. I was just looking up a video game. You lie. Don't lie to me. She shouts. You'll get punished for this later, but right now I've got to go check on your brother. She storms out of the room and a couple seconds later you hear her screaming at Bryce for what he's done. As you wait in the room by yourself, you continue to cry, thinking about what you've done. After a few minutes, 
you stop crying and begin to feel anger. No, not just anger, rage. How could they do this to you? You're a human being, and they're treating you like some slave. You've been putting up with this abuse for too long. It stops today. You storm out of the R.